So Maddie has it has it sunk in uh, that you guys you hosted and you won your very first regional. Honestly, it just feels so surreal. I mean, it's an amazing experience that we all got to be a part of. I mean, everybody, it's the first for all of us, and you know, it's just a great experience. And I think it's now starting to settle in now that we're at our practice, and that's a great feeling. Can you have scripted a, a better moments for you on Saturday, especially? I mean, to be such, so clutch when the team needed you, because if, if you don't win that game, I mean, you saw the path that you would have taken just to get back there. I mean, that was huge on Saturday. Yeah, I was so happy, honestly. I mean, I, you could see my emotions on Saturday. I felt like I had nothing to lose, so I just went out there swinging. <laughs> Some softball moments in your career, youth, high school, that, that's got to be number one, right? No, for sure, yeah, and my mom and my grandma were out in the stands, and so it was just amazing for them to be here for one of my biggest moments in my career, so it was really cool. I think we just need to play our game, you know, have the momentum. We do really well when we keep the momentum rolling on our side, and I think if we can take the momentum away from Oklahoma, I think that's going to be really good for us. The first ones to do it in school history, it's such a big moment there, and now you move on. How do you guys stay even keeled and not get caught up in the moment and keep progressing like you I think just to play one pitch at a time, I think we're all very well aware of what we're doing right now and being well aware um, that we made history and we all just want to keep continuing to make history. I mean, we're all doing it together. This is, like I said, all first for all of us. So just maintaining to go pitch by pitch and it doesn't matter who's on the other side of the field. We're just going to continue to play our game. How enjoyable was Sunday? Just, you know, you guys were building your lead. You could start to feel it inning by inning, especially when you extended it that you're about to clinch this thing and having a lot of the alumni in the stands. I know they came and celebrated on the field with you. Just, what was that feeling It like? was so amazing, especially with the alumni being here all week and the alumni played a huge part in us. I mean, they got the crowd going so many times and that really helped us out. And then for them to come and enjoy that moment with us, like it was so amazing. How excited are you guys for Friday to get here? So excited. I mean, all of us are just excited, ready to pack our bags and get out there. Coach said that over the summer she flew into OKC, took a picture of the airport, sent it to you guys, and said, I'm not flying back here by myself. How cool is it to kind of pull that off? Oh, it's so cool. You know, we were all excited when she sent that picture, and it just kind of put a goal out there for us. And so to now, like, making that goal a reality is just really huge for all of us. Well, God, the wider softball world was introduced in story with you and your brother Elijah last weekend. And from what I've been hearing around social media, there's been some you know, people trying to help get him out to Oklahoma so he could watch, watch you play. Have you gotten the chance to talk about that and see if he would be able to come out there and watch you play? So, actually, I was able to send an send, or sign an NIL deal with um, the Sons of UCF, their Thank podcast. You. And so they basically have got the ball rolling and you know, the UCF community has really helped out a lot to give my brother this opportunity and he's ecstatic. I mean, he I let him like get these moments through me and he's not given the same opportunity as me. And so for him to just experience all of this, it's amazing. And I tell these girls all the time to just, you know, there's bigger, like the sport's bigger than just softball and just to really just take in every moment of it just because I feel like you can all, you can take it for granted so easily, but I mean, there's people out there that don't get the experience that we get every single day, so I try to get the word out there just because I think it's good to know. And Does he know that he's going in? Have you told him? Or yes, I did. I told like? him. He was so excited. I, we were trying to get him out to go Sunday, and he told me, no, I have finals. I have to take care of my finals. So I was like, okay, well, you better be out there when we go to Oklahoma. He's like, oh, I'll be out there. I'll be out there. And he's been texting me. He's on top of the world right now, and he's the biggest UCF softball fan out there. So... It's so amazing. I mean, it just, I, they just really got it going. I mean, I just tweeted out there to get him here, and I wasn't thinking anything of it. And Jan and Britt actually are the ones that got the ball rolling, and they just are amazing people. I mean, Britt, she has Down syndrome, and her and I started to connect just because of my brother, and they're great people, and they just really. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Put the story out there and the UCF community just really took over and it's just so amazing to know that we have family like this that will protect the UCF community like that. Good. Great, great stuff. Thanks, Thank, Maddie. You. Thank you Maddie.